Okay, what new emojis do we want this year? Uh, a chicken nugget. Uh, what about a pickleball emoji? Sporty. I love it. Anyone else? Flatworms. Flatworms. Pardon? The emoji keyboard needs more flatworms, roundworms, mollusks, and arthropods. Otherwise, the entire emoji ecosystem will collapse. The emoji ecosystem? What? So, scientists looked at all the emojis and found that they don't accurately reflect the tree of life. Well, are they supposed to? Shh. The emoji tree of life is lopsided. It entirely lacks a few major branches like flatworms and echinoderms and heavily favors vertebrate animals. This is a classic example of taxonomic bias, which is when certain taxonomic groups get way more attention than others. It's a huge problem in both research and conservation. So while everyone is studying and trying to save cute and charismatic animals like the giant panda, equally important species are going extinct in obscurity like the bowmouth guitarfish. Okay, so how can we fix that bias? Well, there are currently 70 emojis representing animals in the phylum chordata, which includes all animals with a backbone or notochord. So based on real life ratios, you would need to add around 1,000 arthropod emojis, 70 mollusks, 24 flatworms, 21 nematodes, 14 segmented worms, and eight cnidarians to balance things out. And that doesn't even include all the bacteria and fungi. Okay, well that's really nice and all, but no one wants more worm emojis, right? Or do they? We want the worms. Uh, we, we want, want the worms. We want the worms. We want the worms. We want the worms. 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 Worms.